Friday the 13th, one of the most dreadful day in my life. I mean, I, I can't even think of it again. I, I, I thought I'd forgotten about it, but, but seeing this topic, it just made me to recall the whole event that happened in preparation to Friday the 13th. I'll just brief you on it for a short while for you to know why I actually hit this day. So it was a peaceful Friday morning, the 13th of February 2010, and I woke up ready and pumped up to face the day, right? So while in my agility and in my readiness to face the day. You might ask, why was I so ready to face the day? I mean, Friday the 13th it was supposed to be a normal day. But if you remember, I said Friday the 13th of February. I was actually preparing for the next day, which is Friday the 14th of February. Saturday the 14th of February, I mean. And on Saturday the 14th of February, which was supposed to be Valentine, I was supposed to spend it with the love of my life. I mean, that person who is so dear to me, who I was supposed to spend the whole weekend with in preparing for, for, for something big. And then, why preparing? I called my guys, what's up? You know, have you prepared for what I asked you to do? Yes. I called the hotel where I reserved the room for both of us. How far is everything in place? I say yes. So when I sat down to have my breakfast, it dawned on me that something most important for the next day is not yet checked. And then I stood up, put on my trousers, and zoomed off to the jewelry shop to buy a ring. And you may ask, why, why am I buying a ring? I mean, it's just a normal day. Well, I was planning something big. It's love as day, and I was supposed to propose to this girl the next day, Friday, Saturday the 14th. And then while I was at the jewelry shop, I got a call from my babe. But, you know, with so much excitement and in preparation for the next day, I picked up the call, and she was like, babe, there's something I want to tell you. This is so important. You know, I, I was ready. Okay, babe, spill it out. What's up? And she was like, Babe, I'm sorry, we, we can't work out. And and I was in shock. I was like, what's what's happening? Why can't we work out? And and she said, um, you know, it's not about you, it's it's about me. And I, I don't think I'm the perfect match for you. You're so much of a perfect guy, you're so much worthy, and I don't think I'm I'm enough for you. I don't think I'm worthy to have you as my girlfriend. And you know, tears was already dropping off my eyes. I was about to like, babe, what's up? Take it slowly. And she was like, Don't call me, don't reach out to me, you know, things like that. And my brain was was about to explode. I, I was already crying literally and People were already looking at me, what's up? Which was like, I have a flight for noon. I'm supposed to be traveling out the next day, you know? And man, I couldn't help it. And she was like, it's over between us. And I went home feeling so devastated. I was, I was crying out my eyes because, you know, this was supposed to be the day before my most special day. This was supposed to be the day before I have a ring on my finger as a married man. This was supposed to be the day I'm supposed to propose to the love of my life. This was supposed to be the day that... I know you don't want to think about that kind of thing happening to you because it, it was supposed to be a day set aside to profess my love. And and the day before then, I, I get, you know, as I, I me, she broke up with me with previously, you know, times before then. But, you know, after this operation, I just called to counsel and I was really devastated. And even to remember, remembering it now, I don't know, but I, I feel so broken. And, and, and yeah, that's why I hate Friday the 13th. And I hope you do too.